Hey everyone, meteorologist Aaron White here on this Tuesday night. Looking at our forecast, we are tracking the chance for some rain moving through as we head through the overnight hours. Already seeing a few scattered showers west of I-35 and those will make their way through as we go through tonight. Not everyone's going to see the rain and really amounts are going to be pretty light anyways, but we will see a better chance for a few storms as we get into tomorrow. There is even the risk for some severe weather across uh, parts of southeast Minnesota, northeast Iowa into western Wisconsin where we have that yellow area that is a level two risk out of five for large hail, damaging wind gusts, even a couple tornadoes cannot be ruled out as we're tracking storms developing here by late tomorrow afternoon, but more so for the evening. Through tonight, scattered showers will still be possible and then we'll get some sunshine here for tomorrow and that's going to help to provide that energy for the storm chances we get into tomorrow evening. After about 4 p.m., likely going to see some, some of those storms developing here to our north and west. As a cold front rolls in, that's going to change the wind direction from the south to the north and west and will uh, help to ignite some of those thunderstorms here by tomorrow evening. By 10 o'clock, we're starting to see those storms rolling in, and these are the ones that could be severe with the threat for hail and wind being the primary threat. So those are rolling through southeast Minnesota into Wisconsin. Still could see some storms into north Iowa as well. So we're watching this closely here for the day on Wednesday. Uh, for tonight, though, a few scattered showers, maybe a rumble of thunder. And then for tomorrow here on your Wednesday, storms mainly in the afternoon, uh, more so after about 6 p.m. is going to be the uh, best chance, especially as we get towards the later evening hours into the early part of tomorrow night. Seven day forecast with well, the weekend is always in view, showing another chance for storms here on Friday. And then the weekend right now looking pretty good. We got more sunshine and highs in the 80s and the 4th of July, partly cloudy and highs in the mid 80s.